RGB. Now, what RGB stands for is red, green, blue. Now, you have to define the depth of this color or the, the mixture of red, green, and blue the co this color has. Well, you might know that the primary colors are red, green, blue. So, if you mix the primary colors in particular proportion, you get secondary colors and tertiary colors. And in the, okay, now and next, so that's what we're using. I guess there might be other color schemes. You can just check it out if you want. I'm okay, mostly for me. I'm okay with RGB colors. If you guys want a little more fancy ones, you can just try it out and do let me know if there is any. Okay, and then what you need is that you just have to fill in the RGB values. Now, uh, unlike uh, unlike your computer, where unlike in other co computer color choices, wherein uh, they ha you have an option to set the colors between 0 and uh, 255 uh, for uh, colors, like 8-bit colors or 16-bit colors like that, uh, LaTeX, I guess, it uses a different num numbering scheme, wherein uh, 0 stands for the absence of the color and 1 stands for the complete 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 uh, color so so you just have to set the values of red and then green and then blue uh, as as proportions of as fractions of one so at the maximum it can have at the maximum it can have is one at the minimum it have is uh, zero so if it's zero then the color then red there's no red if it's one it's completely red so for instance yeah let this be there like that i've defined three color uh, it's already defined over here at the bottom in the wiki page they have defined three colors like my green my gray my mouth like oh well that's not a problem for me okay that's not a problem for me and uh, okay where was i yeah okay they define three colors this will be this will be like 60 percent of green with no red and blue component and so they gave it green and if you want gray colors what you do is that just set your red green blue values to the same uh, value okay so if it's if it's 0.1 or if all these values are 0.1 it would be slightly gray 0.2 little more gray 0.3 more gray 0.4 more gray like that i guess if it's one it's i think it will be uh full gray i guess I mean, if it's if it's one, I guess it's white, and if I guess it's if it's point one, I guess it's uh, slightly, very very dark gray, and if it's uh, if all of them are one, I guess they're black. I suppose I'm not sure. Just check it out. Okay. Um, next, we set the background color with this command background color. Next, what you have is that you have an option called this basic style, which actually the footnote style. Okay. What I'm saying is that what this does is that it just changes the font of the it just changes the font of it. Now instead of blue, let me remove this blue and give me let me write it as white so that it becomes legible for you guys to look at. Okay, it becomes legible for you guys to look at. And now if you notice, uh, let's see if I just comment this out, check it out, check it out what happens. The font is different okay and if you look at the size is also different what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to change of basic style okay now if I run this see the font the font is shrunk I'm just keeping the same percentage uh, per percentage zooming if you see the font size is reduced because we're using the footnote size option okay now like that let me copy all of these and let me comment them over there and just run them one by one so that I can just save some uh, copy copy paste in time okay and this must be this is redundant okay let me keep up with the consistency okay now next thing is that uh, okay let me just hold on a second not this okay um oh come on how many are they don't worry i'm going to explain you guys all of these so okay come on okay now let me run all this you see uh you see the difference now let's improve this one by one next 
what you have is that break at white space false now what does this mean is that if you have a white space option it will tell you to whether to break at the white space or not so let's see if it's true let's see uh, let's experiment with this uh, okay nothing happened I guess it doesn't make much difference any places so I'm what this does is that if we have a white space at the end it will automatically break okay and next is that uh, it will set now this is used for break lines suppose if we have a lot of contents uh, stacked one next to each other uh, in an obscured manner break lines is used for intending line breaks so if you run this the line breaks uh, will happen since this all this program already has line breaks so it's not a problem so in case if you don't have a line break it will come nicely and then let's next next let's look at the next one caption position b now what does this does is that it'll just keep, give, uh, set the caption for this entire program at the bottom that's the caption position b stands for bottom so if i run this it'll uh, the portion of the caption will come at the bottom since we haven't included the captions yet uh, it it won't show but trust me it will show in a moment let's see now next thing is comment style now from here on the coloring begins coloring begins now yeah, I just said now this line comment style I set it to color my green so all the comments wherever you look at this will be in green so if I were to run this there you have it the first coloring now all your comments the Python in Python the comments start with the hashtag hash symbol so your comments are in green color not bad right and then and then uh, this command delete keywords is used for deleting the keywords in your program okay and then this command escape inside okay now what does this do is that it helps you to uh, if you want to write latex latex code within your code then this helps you to write that it helps you to write that and then uh, extended characters true if you want to write non ascii characters that uh, okay uh, if you want to write non ascii characters uh, that uh, um, what would you do that de that may not uh, be present in utf8 or some other utf scheming if you want those to be present you just type true otherwise it's false not a problem this won't be big deal and then next is frame single now thing is uh, this will put a box around as I mentioned earlier but in the listing since I already put the frame single uh, anyway it will be overwritten so that's just for using the box okay and now what next keep spaces equals true okay the, what this does is that it just keeps the spaces in the text okay if there are any spaces in the text it's going to keep it normally so if I were to look at the spaces if I were to set this to false Let's see what happens. Uh, let's see what happens. I guess not a big diff. Uh, I guess not a big difference. Sometimes it's, uh, sometimes these are used for indentations. Okay, let me keep this as true, so that we don't mess up with anything. And then next thing is keyword style. Now, what does this does is it just makes sure that the keywords are uh, in. Uh, in the blue color so if you run this if you see now the keywords like import from def return okay these are all in blue color and if you want you can set this to orange if uh, you can set this to red if you want compile this you see now all the keywords are in red so let me change it to blue again so that okay as it is okay now next is this sets the language not a problem and if you want other keywords that you want to mention I can we can set it over here for instance if you want uh, PLT as a keyword what I can do is that I can just set it to PLT I guess let's see how this works see when I set the PLT to be a keyword now what happens is that wherever you come across PLT it is named it, it becomes it also gets colored and if I want this NP to be colored as well which I used over here NP and uh, other one like NP and this ODE INT 
okay check this out check this out 